Hi everyone and welcome to this short video taking a look at markup options on a number of PDF tools. First of all we have here Mac PDF Viewer Preview loaded free on all Macs. We'll also take a look at Adobe Acrobat Reader 10, the latest version, and also take a look at an online version of a markup tool that is collaborative known as Crocodile. Well let's jump in here and take a look at Mac's Preview. And in Mac Preview, we just brought up a standard PDF document. And if we come up and we grab the tool here, the little marking tool, all of a sudden we have a new menu bar at the top. And if I select the highlighting tool, I'll be able to come and select any text in the PDF and highlight it. I can even change it to different colors if I wish. Now I can save this PDF with a different name, send it to my colleagues, my parents, or my students, and I can have highlighted information for that PDF. I can even create little text bubbles. Let's take a look at the top here. We have a few here in preview. We have a text box, a speech bubble, and a thought bubble. Each of these you'll be able to put onto the document with some text. So I'm just going to grab a little speech bubble right here. and begin typing. I like this. And so you can go in and change that color as well. And we'll go with black. So we can mark up this document, save it with a new name, and send it. A very handy way to highlight information. You can even use it as a formative assessment where students bring up this tool and have to highlight certain things, a poem or whatever it may be, and then send it to the instructor. Now, even though um, you have this on your machine for Mac users. Uh, kids at home don't have Preview if they don't have a Mac. And for PCs, there is Adobe Acrobat 10. Now, if you don't have Adobe Acrobat 10 as a PDF reader, you'll need to download it. It's free. But you will find these tools up in the top right-hand corner that I'm circling here if you have Adobe Acrobat 10. So let's go ahead and grab this real quick. We have our highlighting tool, and it works pretty much the same. We click on the highlighting tool, and we can highlight any item in the PDF, save it with a new name, and then send it out to folks who we want to have read it. We also have little sticky notes here in Adobe Acrobat 10, so I can just click on a little note area, let's say number one here, and I can type some information in here. I like this. And so this little sticky note is associated with that, and I'll close that. And I can open it as well by double-clicking on it. Again, I can save this with a new name, send this off to folks, and they'll see the sticky note, be able to open it up, as well as the highlighting. Older versions of Adobe Acrobat Reader will read these, uh, but to create them, you'll need the newest version of Adobe Acrobat 10. Now that's great for standalone devices and the software that's on the machine. But we can also now go to a web service that has the ability of bringing up a PDF and collaboratively marking up that PDF. So let's jump up into Crocodile real quick. Now you will have to create an account for this, but those who are viewing it will not. Once you create an account, you'll be able to upload PDFs, Word documents, all kinds of documents, uh, create folders and put them in folders, and once you do, you will be able to set these up for folks to take a look at. So here's one, our NETS teacher standards. And I'll click on that. And it opens up in a window. And here we have, oh, it's been marked up already. We've been playing with this. This document was available to a number of people, as you can see. And we were marking up this document. Now, how do people get a hold of this document? Well, up in the top right-hand corner, you will see that the URL is now the link to this document. All people need is the URL. You can send it out an email or you can put it on a web page. They'll click on it and they will get to this collaborative document. They'll be able to do a number of things on this collaborative document as you can see from the tools. Uh, strike out, highlighting, uh, text, draw, and comment. A lot of different ways to comment as well on this collaborative markup tool. Let's see how this works. I'm just going to copy that URL that we have up in the top. I'm just going to bring up a different web browser just to show you how that jumps in. And we're going to paste that real quick. Hit return. And boom. We now got to the document in question. And we can start marking this up. And it's already been marked up by folks, as you can see.
So Crocodoc is a, is a great tool uh, if you want to do some collaborating markup. Well, I hope you found the video helpful. Have a good day.